Today, USCIS, the agency I head as part of the Department of Homeland Security, has issued a rule that encourages and ensures self-reliance and self-sufficiency for those seeking to come to or to stay in the United States. It will also help promote immigrant success in the United States as they seek opportunity here. Throughout our history, self-reliance has been a core principle in America. The virtues of perseverance, hard work, self-sufficiency laid the foundation of our nation and have defined generations of immigrants seeking opportunity in the United States. Critics are saying this policy is unfairly targeting the lower income immigrants. How do you respond to that? Well, we certainly expect people of any income to be able to stand on their own two feet. And so uh, if people are not able to be self-sufficient, then, then this negative factor is going to bear very heavily against them um, in a decision about whether they'll be able to become a legal permanent resident. And, and um, w a poor person can be prepared to be self-sufficient. Many have been through the history of this country. So let's not look at that as the be-all and end-all. It's not the deciding factor, which is why we continue to use the totality of circumstances test. You were implementing a public charge rule for the first time. Is that sentiment? Give us your tired, your poor, still operative in the United States, or should those words come down? Should the plaque come down off the Statue of Liberty? Well, I, I'm certainly uh, not prepared to take anything down off the Statue of Liberty. Um, we we, uh, we have a, a long history of being one of the most welcoming nations in the world on a lot of bases, whether you be an asylee, whether you be coming here to join your family, or immigrating yourself. This rule will cover, for USCIS, almost 400,000 people a year. Um, whose applications to become legal permanent residents will include uh, a meaningful analysis of whether they're likely to become a public charge or not. I do not think by any means we're ready to take anything off the statute of liberty. Yes, ma'am.